Hey everybody. I hope I'm on time. I was I had started to come on just a second ago, but it was a little bit early. So I hope everyone is having a fantastic day. I know for us the weather was just oh it was awesome. It was blessed. Blessing today. Um uh, I am just checking. I know I'm probably in the right place, but there's always that fear of uh, not being. So, even though I won't be commenting, Miss uh, Lillian is here to answer any and all questions for everybody that pops in. So, first of all, I'm Renee Holder of Two Chatty Chicks, and I am from Little Rock, Arkansas. And as y'all hop on, if you would, uh, let us know you're watching uh, live or if you're watching by replay, do hashtag replay and hashtag live. Really appreciate it, y'all. And also, if uh, so I don't forget, and I'll try to remind y'all throughout the live, that if you share, be sure and comment that you've done so so that you can be put in the drawing for an 8 ounce of Miss Lillian's original No Wax Chalk Paint. And if there's any questions, Miss Lillian is here to answer those for you. And um, because if I was to do it, we might not get through the live. It might take too long. So um, tonight, what I did is, I'm, and I can't back up because I've got everything sitting behind me, but I had to take the headboard down to where I was gonna be putting the gel stain on. So what I've done is I've created kind of like a storybook so that I can show y'all on sample boards up to where y'all can watch me actually apply the gel stain on the headboard and manipulate it the way that I like to because I love the gel stains. You really can get a dramatic effect with them. So this is the board that I started with and I get these from Home Depot and um, they are birch. They're quarter inch, and I have them cut them, but they're great to do, like if you're going to, say you're doing something for a customer, uh, they're great sample boards, y'all, really great, and I have been using Miss Lillian's, um, oh my gosh, Miss Lillian, I forget what these are, I love them, I didn't think that I would because I am really a less is more, and I was afraid uh, that you would use too much paint, but I wet my brushes, and then I dip just the tip into the paint it is i love it because i'm a chip brush user a lot and this is one application and i am very impressed i mean y'all can see that that is one coat so there's no lines there's no marks it's fantastic but i wanted y'all to see what i started with first And um, I didn't really think that, that, that y'all would need to see me, you know, apply a coat of paint. So I went ahead and done that. But what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be applying this stencil. Let me hold this up behind something where you can kind of see the design. And to do that, a lot of people call it stencil relief, ball relief, 3D um, design. It's just however you want to perceive it. But I'm going to be using Miss Lillian's Texture Magic. Yes, I use Texture Magic a lot. <laughs> um, it's a white powder, and I'm going to be using Miss Lillian's Pyramid Gold. I love this color. Well, I like all the colors, but this really does give a dramatic look with your uh, stencils. Uh, and what you do is you want to mix in your paint with the Texture Magic, and it's going to stay true to color. So that's really important, even if you um, are mixing it and you need a little more liquid, uh, you can add a little bit of water to it and it's not going to change the color. That's a good asset, I believe. So I'm going to mix some up and I have in the cup um, about two tablespoons and that's going to be plenty enough. I said that the last time, didn't I? I ended up having to mix some more. but I'm just gonna mix it up. And you wanna make sure that you get it mixed really well so that you don't have um, 
a lot of powder. I tell you what, let me turn y'all down so that y'all can actually see me mixing and what it's going to look like. Okay, and let me see. I, uh, and I'll show y'all how I'm going to apply this and what I use. And sometimes I don't use a stencil adhesive, but with this one, I believe I will because it is a thicker stencil. Your thinner ones uh, tend to really move around. So you always want to use that on the back. And I'll show y'all the consistency that I'll go for. This, I usually get just a little bit thicker than normal. I don't want it dripping off. Uh, if y'all saw the lace application, it was a lot thinner than this. I don't want this to be that thin. I added just a hair more. And y'all, it doesn't take long to get it mixed up. And for this purpose, I'm just going to take and dump it out here on the plate where y'all can see. Now, this is the stencil adhesive that I use, and you can get it at Hobby Lobby and use your 40% off coupon. I'm going to turn that around. And it doesn't take very much at all. I'm going to move this. That right there is all I'm going to use. And then I'm going to also use tape to get it in place. And I wanted to turn that around to where y'all could see the right end so y'all are not looking at it upside down. Now, whenever you're applying your Texture Magic, this is one I use to apply, and you can get these at Harbor Freight. And what I do, they're, um, they apply mud with them or putty. And this one I cut in two. And I like it because I can kind of bend it to where it's a little flexible for me. And if you're using a stencil that say this is not attached, it lifts up. Any Like this right here. See how that lifts up? Whenever you're applying your Texture Magic, you always want to go down away from that. You don't want to do it this way or that away because it could lift that up. And the same with these. If these weren't attached, you always want to go down and away this away with that because it could lift up. I hope I have that position to where y'all can see good. And again, if y'all have any questions, uh, Miss Lillian is in here, and she will be there to answer any of your questions. And if we miss any, we'll check afterwards. And that is easy to do sometimes. Uh, y'all be sure and let us know where you're from, too. You can see it's not taking a lot, and I'm putting it on and scraping it off. Now, as you see, I just did what I told y'all not to do. I scraped across that, but it's okay. I'm going to scoot that over just like that, and it will be fine due to the finish that I'm going to be going for. And y'all, it does not take much of this at all. And also, see how I applied that right there? You really wouldn't have to do 100% coverage. You could actually just leave it like that. But I'm going to go ahead and do 100%. And And y'all, it doesn't take long for this to dry either. And you can use it white if you prefer. I've, I've used this a lot. And, you know, if you did have something that someone chipped and you had color on top of this, then it would be white. And you would have to fix that. Although I have never had any 
project that I have ever used to extra magic on to chip, but there is always that first time. So if you have it colored, then that's something you don't have to worry about. And the two tablespoons is going to be uh, just perfect. In fact, it's going to be um, some left over. And again, you can pull this really tight or you can leave it a little higher if you prefer. I tell you, th th I really do like the Texture Magic because it's a very versatile product. You can use it in so many different ways. And it's easy to use. Okay. We're done with that. And see, I had that much left out of two tablespoons. And then I'm just going to put that in the water. Now, for my, whenever I do my stencils, this is what I, it is a pan that goes underneath the hot water heater, and you just have to plug the hole right here, and this is great because you can get a good amount of water in it. You can take your stencils, you can put in here with a little bit of, um, uh, Dawn dishwashing liquid, let them set overnight, especially if you have got paint on them. I mean, it works fabulous. And I'm just using a bread pan because I didn't want to take a chance on lifting that up and getting water everywhere. So I'm just going to lay that in the water. And look at the detail. Isn't that pretty? You know what? That would be pretty left as is, I think. And once that dries, I'm, I have one that is dry, so I'm going to set that aside. Okay, now what I'm going to do, uh, this one, I was in a hurry whenever I did this one. <laughs> So it's got a little bit of rough edge, so I'm just going to take, this is 220, and it's been used, and what I do, if you do have a brand new piece, is I take it, and I go like that, that way it gets rid of some of that, and then you're just going to take, and I'm not getting on this here, and I'm just barely touching just enough to get those knobbies. And then I'm gonna take a chip brush, get all of that dust out. And see, isn't that pretty? You could leave that just like that. I love it. So, I'm going to let me get my paper. And y'all, again, if y'all share the uh, live, be sure and let uh, us know that you did. And your name will be put in a drawing for one of Miss Lillian's 8-ounce no-wax chalk paint. And if, let us know if there is something that you would like to learn about one of Miss Lillian's uh, products. We'll be happy to uh, see if one of us can't come up with something to, uh, to create with on that for you. And if, tell us what your favorite product is. I like always, that's pretty cool whenever you see what people really like. Um, so now I'm going to go ahead and show you um, what I did is I'm going to use the cinnamon stick, which was the base. And y'all, I can't remember if I told y'all that at the beginning. Um, but I'm just going to dry brush. I don't want complete coverage on this, and you'll see why. And 
and I don't normally do this. I always pour my paint out, but there's not much here that we're going to be doing. But what I do is I use two plates. You know what I am, because y'all need to see. That's all I'm going to need, because I'm not going to fully cover this. Okay, I want to make sure y'all can see that. Okay, I'm going to do just that, but I'm going into my paint like that. And then I'm also going to offload because you know what? I can always pick up more paint. So, and I'll usually, in a situation like this, I'll usually just start in the center. And you know what? And then I may turn my brush sideways. And I see that's not enough. So I can pick up a little more. And I'm still going to brush it off. And say right here, say I think that's a little too much. I'll take care of that on the next step. I can always come back in and sand some off in case you do. See, there's always a way you can fix stuff. Always. Okay, now whenever that dries, and you come over, I'm going to tip this over, and I'm going to show y'all, because the underside is still a little wet. I don't quite want y'all to see that one yet. So, I'm going to take my dryer, and I'm going to dry this one right quick. I still see a few spots that I'd like to have a little more paint. But this is the step just before I start applying the uh, gel stain. And I'm going to take and put that back in. And I know to put the lid back on stuff. I've learned my lesson. I had quite the mess up this week. Okay, now I'm going to raise this up. And I'm going to move the camera so that y'all can see whenever I'm putting this on the headboard. And it might take me just a little bit because I want to move the camera because I want y'all to be able to see that really well. I don't want to drop y'all. That would be a disaster. All right. I hope that y'all can see that really well. And y'all, anytime that you use tape to tape off anything, always make sure that you use the orange core painter's tape. It will have orange on the inside like that right there. Very important. Or the frog tape, either one will work. Now, as you can see, I've already completed this to the step that y'all just watched. And what I did afterwards is I came in because there was a few areas that I felt like was still a little bit too much paint, like right here. So I'm going to just take my 220. See, and I'm making sure I'm not touching out here. 
because I wanted just a little bit more off. And see right here, you can see, and I kind of did that so that y'all could see. And um, I started to sand it off, and I thought, no, I'll wait. Because sometimes it does help to see what someone is talking about. Okay, now I'm just going to take and brush that off really well. And you know what? That in itself, to me, would be even pretty left just like that. But anytime I can use gel stains, I got to use gel stains. <laughs> I really wished I could get y'all a little closer to that. And I do hope that y'all can see. All right, now, I'm going to be using Miss Lillian's Tobacco Gel Stain. I'm going to be applying with a chip brush. And you definitely want to wear gloves. And whenever you get through, I always keep a bag inside, a Walmart bag inside of a pail. Um, then I add water. And I chunk my, my gloves, my brush, and my gauze whenever I'm through. And wait for the garbage because it, uh, it's an oil-based product and you don't want to leave it stacked up anywhere. And you also want to make sure that you always stir... The gel stain. Isn't that, hmm, that's pretty. I love it. And y'all, be sure, and if you share, to let us know so that you can be put in the drawing for the 8 ounce. I'm always afraid I'm going to forget to tell someone that. and They'll miss out on a chance. But if you share and don't tell us, then we won't know to put your name in the drawing. I'm going to straighten y'all up just a little bit. And again, if you have any questions, be sure and ask Miss Lillian. And y'all, this was almost a flub up. This, this was a headboard, and I'm going to make it into a coat rack. Uh, I'm going to put hooks down here, but whenever the legs were cut off, one was ended up cutting off shorter than the other, but we managed to fix it, and then I took a piece of trim and put it on the bottom. So you can always fix anything, y'all. Okay, now, whenever I apply the gel stain, I have a tendency to apply quite a bit, but you always want a wet edge. And as you can see, I am applying quite a bit. Okay. And you know what? I'm not going to worry if I saturate everything inside the stencil. I don't particularly want all of that covered up. And a tip. I didn't do it this time. But say you're doing something like this and you don't trust your tape, you can take a small um, artist brush and run a thin, thin uh, top coat along that tape and it will stop all bleed. That has saved my honey quite a few times. Now, as a wet edge, I'm going to leave this out here because I'm going to stop. Okay, I'm going to leave quite a bit out here. Oh, wow, I got way too much there. But that's okay. Wipe it off. Okay. I'm going to set that up there so I don't make a mess. And I use gauze. Oh, I need another glove. Um, <clears throat> I use gauze for this. And I always fold them up. Because like this, they come off of the roll like this. And I always make sure I have enough for the project I'm going to be working on. And this is the way they come. And I take and I fold them like this and like that. 
and then that's how I hold them like that okay and then I'm just going to start wiping and pulling and that you hear is just the gauze catching see that's already beautiful <laughs> So I'm going to turn this to my clean side, okay, and I'm barely touching and I'm pushing, but I'm stopping here because once I'm through, I'll come back and I will blend all of it together. Okay, and then I'm going to take this, I'm going to turn it. Y'all, I gotta turn that fan off. Or turn it away from me because that air is. You know what? I cannot tell if y'all can see or if that is leaving a glare. I hope it is not doing a glare from that light. Because whenever I'm through, I will take the camera down. And I'll get y'all up close out of that glare. I think there's a glare right there, but there's nothing I can do about that right now. And again, y'all, if y'all have any questions, Miss Lillian is here to answer them. And also, if... Um, you are looking to be a retailer, you need to send them a message because you will not regret it. Uh, I looked, mm, I can't even say. <laughs> um, I went through several and it was just a godsend whenever I found Miss Lillian's No Wax Chalk Paints. I think I've put them in just about every test you can think of, and I just love them. And I think, I, well, I know I've used every product that she's got. Now see, there's my wet edge. Now I'm gonna blend that, okay? I'm gonna take and I'm gonna, and see how I'm not it's a, I want this to be dark around that. That's okay. And if I want more off. And really, it's just the look that you're going for. Now I'm pushing a little harder because I wanted a little bit more of that off right there. Okay, let me see. Boy, y'all are getting a glare on that. But I'll be through here in just a second and I will move it. Mm. I hope, okay, maybe that'll help to where y'all can see. I'll hold that up for a little bit. And again, I don't want full coverage right here. Y'all be sure and let us know where y'all from. Right, we are done with that and you know what I'm going back to one that I've already used because I'm gonna wipe off excess so there's no need to get one a new one and I'm rubbing pretty hard right there because I want a lot of that off in there
Okay, now I'm gonna go back to another one that I've used very little. And I'm just gonna start blending. Sorry for the noise, y'all. The pan was about to step in the pan. But you can see I'm kind of leaving that dark on the edges because that's what I want. Okay, I'm going to have to let go of that for just a second, y'all. y'all know now why I love gel stains? They're just butamous, y'all. And I forget I'm farther away from the phone. And I sure can't see what y'all are saying, so. And you know what? I think I need a little more out. Okay, now... I'm gonna raise this up. I think I need a little more of the pyramid gold. Oh yes. Yes, yes, yes. Let me use my, okay, to get that out of there. I might come back in and blend just a little bit more. Okay, let me. I want to do this one. I'm going to do this sanding and then I'm going to. And again, y'all, be sure if you share to let. Let uh, Miss Lillian know so that your name can be put in the drawing for one of Miss Lillian's original no wax chalk paint eight ounce colors. Okay. I think I need just a hair more off there, right there. And y'all, I'm making sure that, and if you hold your sandpaper like this, your thumb and your little finger under, and these three fingers on the top, you are so less likely to get a scratch whenever you're using sandpaper. And you know what? I did touch it right there, but guess what? I can use one that's already got some on it, and it's gone. It completely took care of it. And then I'll just be a little more particular. That way it helps you see that you can make a mistake and you can fix it. That's important to know that you can do that. Okay, I feel just a little bit up here. Ooh, now I'm hot. I hope that y'all are liking this. Okay. I think that one over there. Actually, what I call this is like the halo effect. Because around each one, it has its own halo look. And, you know, this is something that you don't want... Uh, perfect. Um, and very, very important, if you are going to put a top coat on this, which I will, you want to make sure, yes, you can go over the uh, gel stains, which is an oil-based product with one of Miss Lillian's uh, Luster Top Coats but you want to be sure and let it dry for at least three or four days. That's very important. Actually, I usually, and of course it's gonna depend on your humidity and 
all that good stuff. Here the humidity stinks, so it's nothing for me to leave something for at least four days. All right, that is it. And whenever that dries, I don't wanna pull the tape. Oh my, I have some drips. And another thing, do make sure, which I can touch that up, with a cinnamon stick once it dries and it'll be okay. But that's a good lesson. You want to make sure that whenever you're applying gel stain that you've got all of your area covered because it, uh, it does spatter. But that's just part of, the, of that. So now I'm going to take my chances because I don't think I can pick the headboard up. I tried it, I hurt my back a little bit um, yesterday from let me lift this up without the glare and try to get y'all a close up of how that looks. You can see the halo effect, I really hate the glare that I've got going on, but I have to have the lighting. So, all right, y'all. Now to get y'all back in the holder, and I don't drop you. <laughs> and I'll get y'all scooted back. Into place where you can kindly see there. Okay, I'm going to take these off. And y'all, it's just about finished. So be sure and share before while you still have just a few minutes, okay? And uh, we will announce the winner here in just a second. I was hoping that I might be able to get this up without a glare. I just don't think it's going to be possible. But I will take a good photo and hopefully get it staged within the next couple of days. But that kind of right there gives you an idea without the glare. So there we go. That's a good picture. So, all right, y'all. I really do appreciate it. And we're so glad that y'all took the time out of your schedule to pop on and, and watch our live. And we will have a winner here in just a second. Um, I hope everybody had a fantastic day. Thank you, Linda. I appreciate that. It's not often I can see what anybody is saying. <laughs> so, um, thank you, Regina. We appreciate that. And especially, we love all the hearts. <laughs> I'm telling you, we do. Um, and my glasses are fogging up on me, too. So, And I don't want to miss who the winner is. So, y'all hang tight. And if we don't get it announced, as soon as uh, this is over, we'll, Miss Lillian will announce, or I will one, who has won uh, an 8-ounce chalk paint. So... And y'all, again, the base was cinnamon stick and uh, the Texture Magic. I mixed in Pyramid Gold and um, then it was the Gel Stain Tobacco. Uh, tobacco is really one of my favorites, uh, although I've used several of the others and color combinations that have been also very, very pretty. So... Um, and as you know, I use Texture Magic a lot. Victoria Lehman Nicholson. All right. Is that the winner tonight? That is fantastic. Congratulations. And y'all just need to contact uh, Miss Lillian, and they'll get with you about your uh, eight ounce. And listen, y'all, we appreciate it, and everyone have a very blessed day, and good night, and y'all have a blessed evening. Good night, y'all.